Hello, pre-calculate student. This video is for chapter 3.5, Dividing Polynomial. So this is part 2 of um, 3.5. In part 1, we talk about long division. In part 2, we say we're going to talk about some uh, uh, a division process called synthetic division, which can be used to um, find um, the divide a linear, divide a polynomial by a linear uh, polynomial, a linear factor. So now, division, synthetic division is only useful for this. Um, what happened is they there is a shortcut method to do this long division to do the division really quickly by using the linear factor x minus k. So use the k and use the coefficient of the dividend. So for example, if I am dividing um, 2x squared plus 5x plus 1, and I want to divide it by x minus 3, right? So uh, all I need to do is I don't need to write this x squared and x and anymore. I concentrate on the numbers. So I'll write down 2, 5, 1, do a short division symbol, then do the x minus k, do the k outside, 3. So it's like very abbreviated. You take all the coefficient of the dividend, take the x minus k, the k out for outside for dividing, and that's how you set it up. Now, how do you do the long division? How do you do the division is, first of all, you start it by bring down the first leading term. So these number needs to be in a descending order. If there is some missing term, you have to put zeros, okay? Bring down the first, no matter what it is, if it is negative 5, you bring negative 5. This number would multiply with the with k. So 2 times 3. Where do you put the answer? You put it next to, uh, the below the second term. So you would have 6 below 5. This is the original div dividend of the 5x. And then you add. Okay, so when we do uh, division, usually we subtract. But in synthetic, you're primarily doing multiply and add. So you keep on multiply and add. So after you add, you have another number in the second column. You do multiply again, 33, right? 3 times 33, you put it below the next column. And then you add again, 34. And once you have the last column field, you're done. But where is the quotient? Where is the divisor? So here, that's how it go. The last column last number is the remainder, whatever that is left over. And then this 2 would be, or anything before the remainder column, are the quotient. So the first is a constant term, and this is the x term. If there are more things, it would like more terms uh, in the, in the uh, quotient, you would have x squared, x cubed, x fourth. So just count to the left to figure out the uh, the term's name or the, the name of the term. And you only, remember, you only use, your, your, your answer is only coefficient. So in a nutshell, that's how it works. The remainder is in the uh, last column. And you, you start the process by bringing down the leading term. And the, the repeating process is always multiply the, the number at the bottom with the k outside of the uh, division box, and then put the answer in the next column, and you add the two number. Okay, so let's do an example. I'm dividing 4x cubed plus 10x squared minus 6x minus 20. Let me check all the uh, x terms. So I have x, uh, x to the power 3, x to the power square, x to the power 2 and then 1. I don't have any missing terms, so I don't have to insert anything. So, But I would pick all the coefficient. 4, 10, negative 6, and negative 20. And then outside, I do not pick 1 and 2. I pick only the k, okay, which is 2. So not negative 2, but x minus k. So k is 2, and you only put 2. You can think about, or you can Think of it as x minus 2 equal to 0, so x is equal to 2. You can think of this as the zeros. So the first to kick it, kick it off is 4, bring it down to 4, and then multiply. 2 times 4 is 8. You write the answer here, and then you add. 
2 times 18 is 36. You put it over here and you add, so that's 30, right? Negative 6 plus 36 is 30. 2 times 30 is 60. You add, that's 40. So this is the remainder and this is the quotient. The coefficient of the quotient, this is 1, this is x, and this is x squared. So your answer would be 4x squared plus 18x plus 30 plus 40 over x minus 2. And that's the answer. So you can see that how much it is much faster. So do another one. This one, uh, I have some terms that's missing. The first term is x to the fourth. That's fine because it's the highest degree. But I don't have x cubed, so I have to insert it. I don't have x term, so I have to insert it. So I end up having 3, 0, 18, 0, negative 3 in my dividing box. And then, uh, because this should be x minus k, so my k should be negative 7. Bring down number 3. Oops, this is 3. And then start uh, add, uh, multiplying. So this would be negative 21. Negative 21 at 0 is still negative 21. So negative 21 times se negative 7 would be 21 times 7 is 147, but it is positive, right? 147. So I add them. 147 plus 18 would be 165. Oh, it would be bigger and bigger. 165 times negative 7 um, would be a negative number. Negative 1,000. 1,176. At 0, it's still negative 1,176. And I need to times 7 again, but it's negative. So I end up having positive again. 8, 2, 3, 2. Uh, add with negative 3, so be minus 3. So be um, 8, 2, 2, 9. So this one is the remainder, and all these are the uh, portion. So this is 1x, x squared, and x cubed. So my answer is x cubed plus x squared plus x plus 1. Mm. Oh no, <laughs> I'm not doing this. So be three. I should look at the coefficient. So it's 3x cubed minus 21x squared plus 165. Minus 1176, this is uh, not a very good number, plus 8229, 8229, over was the divisor, x plus 7. So that's how you do uh, synthetic division without using long division. Okay. Uh, more example. So now if something divide a, um, if a divisor, divide something and you have zero as a remainder, that means it's a factor. Just like, how do I know uh, three is a factor of 18? Because three, 18 divided by three is equal to 18 and the remainder is zero. So three is a factor. So the same here, if I divide something and I have a remainder of zero, that means x minus three is a factor. So to do it, we use a synthetic division. So we will try to divide use uh, negative 4x cubed, check the answer, plus 5x squared, plus 0x, remember there is a 0x here. Um, 0x plus 8, you divide it by x minus 3 to see if the remainder is it 0 or not. Remainder equal to what? So I will try it, so I will use synthetics, negative 4, 5, 0, 8, divided by 3, because that is x minus k. Okay, so bring down negative 4. So 3 times negative 4 is negative 12. Add together is 7, right? Remember, add. So 3 times 7 is 21. 21 plus 0 is 21. 21 times 3 is 63. 63 plus 8 is 71. So it is not 0, right? Not 0. So it is not a factor. No, x minus 3 is not a factor. So if it is a factor, you will be able to divide it with a uh, 0. Okay. 
So what can we use uh, this synthetic division for? We can or dividing for. We can use it to solve application. The GCS one. Uh, I have a uh, question here. I uh, someone give us the length of a rectangle in terms of x, and the area in terms of x. Also, we have to find the width. Of course, we know that area is length times width. So if I know area and I know length, W would equal to what? Area divided by L. So I would do 4x cubed plus 10x squared plus 6x plus 15 divided by L, which is 2x plus 5. Now this, is, this looks a little tricky because um, it is not in the form of x minus k. So presumably we cannot use long division to do unless you do some adjustment. But we, we cannot use synthetic division to do unless we do a, some adjustments. So if you want to, you can um, try um, <laughs> adjust this into x minus k by dividing the top and bottom by 2. So this becomes x minus 5 over 2. But unless you want to do it, otherwise you would also uh, just go back to long division. So long division does have its place. So you would divide it, um, this 10x squared. This is a plus plus 6x plus 15 divided by 2x plus 5. So first term we divide with the first term, 4x cubed divided by 2x, that is 2x squared. 2x squared. So and then 2x squared times um, 2x plus 5 times the one that you're dividing. So that would be 4x cubed plus, is it the 5? 5 times 2 is 10x squared. Wow, that's really good because I can totally cancel it. Nothing, right? So the next one would be, I have to bring down two terms, 6x plus, and 15. And uh, 2x, 6x over 2x is 3, right? Estimate quotient is 3. And then if you multiply 3 times 2x plus 5, would equal to 6x plus 15. And that's the end of the answer. So um, uh, we can totally divide it. And also, the quotient is in the top. So you would say the width is 2x squared plus 3. And that's how you do it by long division. So that's uh, 3.5.